Some of the greatest hits of Hollywood actor Keanu Reeves there. Well, he starred in blockbuster films. His band has played at the Glastonbury Music Festival. A, a photograph of him eating a sandwich has become the subject of an internet phenomenon, Sad Keanu. So what else is there for him to do? Well, the answer was simple, to write a short illustrated story called Ode to Happiness. When I say short, I'm talking about less than a 100 words, accompanied by rather moody watercolour images. It begins like this. I draw a hot sorrow bath in my despair room with a misery candle burning. So, how would Keanu Reeves describe his book? We all kind of, uh, who are involved with the book, the work, um, speak about it as being a kind of a, a grown-up's children's book, in a way. And that's where the illustration has come in, in a way... <laughs> We can describe it on, on the radio, but it, it won't yeah. really do it justice. Less than 100 words, but the, the, the illustrations are pretty integral to it as well, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Alexandra Grant, who uh, is a California artist, uh, oftentimes works with text, and then she's a, a painter in other mediums. We This was kind of born through a mutual friend of ours. I wrote this text, this poem, for a friend of mine, and then my friend took it to, to Alexandra, to illustrate as a what was going to be a gift back to me which was a kind of a book and Alexandra decided to make a book and so they ended up coming back to me a few months later with a version of Ode to Happiness and uh, as we were looking at it you know I started to show it to some friends and they were they would go I want one of these and and someone else would look at it and go wow and so we just thought well let's try and put it together we went to um, the publisher uh, Gerhard Steidel, Alexandra went and met with him to see if he was interested in, in doing the book. He kind of held on to the original and he went, you know, this is something that you can't get on the iPad. This is something that needs to, he, he talks about it as being haptic, you know, the experience of holding something. And his work, his publishing is very much about the quality of the printing, the paper, it's the way it's bound, etc. And so. Yeah, and, but tell us a bit about about the inspiration for the poem then, a poem for a, for a friend, what, was, what were you trying to convey? What are you trying to get across? Well, it started uh, where my friend and I, we were having a kind of, a, a, I don't know, what do you call it, like a kitchen talk, you know, when you're hanging out in the kitchen? And I have a radio in my, in, in my house, and she chose this radio station that was playing um, very uh, emotional, dramatic, melodramatic kind of... I'm in, I'm, I'm suffering, I've got the blues music, I've been lost, I've, you know, no love. And it kept going on and on. And I was looking at my friend going, you love this. And I just started to, to write this kind of ode to happiness, this idea of... Well, to counteract the music or to yeah, complement it? What was the yeah, idea? Yeah, well, it was, it was born out of a kind of... That moment, that moment when you've got the blues, when you, you draw that hot bath that hot sorrow bath you know and you light the candle and you're just feeling got the blues but is this Keanu Reeves's reaction when he when he has the blues I mean how literal should we take no this is event? not autobiographical right you're not a man who gets in the bath and puts the candle on and then puts the cream on afterwards no how, I'll, how, do, I'll, how do you deal with the blues oh me you know I'm a whiskey man myself and you're a musician as well why did why the poem why, why not you know, write a piece well, of I, music. Well, I think it was born just in the in that moment, you know. I was, it was a little poking fun at it, you know, just that, you know, the work, I mean, it starts with, like, I draw a hot sorrow bath in my despair room with a misery candle burning. And it just kind of goes from there about this, you know, it's very, the poem is, like, you know, talks about, you know, 100% it'll never change towels and silk and, and you know, going to bed alone and... So, it sort of reminds me of Nick Cave a bit. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Well, it's trying to make, it's trying to put into context, it's trying to help one have a sense of humor about that moment, you know, to try and get us out of the blues in a way, you know, and, to and just kind it, of look at ourselves. Yeah, and are you having a, a bit of a, a poke of fun, a, a poking fun at, at this strange internet sensation that, that happened last year with the, the photo of you oh, sitting on the right. bench eating the sandwich and the sad Keanu Facebook page. Is it, is it poking fun at that to a certain extent? No, there's some odd synchronicity. The book was, uh, and, the, and the text was written long before that event. But is it, well, is it reactionary, perhaps more to, not to that event, but to this image that somehow has, has uh, grown up of Keanu as this rather depressive character? What are you, are you really? I'm a happy-go-lucky guy. Um, who, just, who just hits the whiskey now and then. 
don't we all, <laughs> in some way or another? Um, no, this is, it, it really was, um, like I said, not autobiographical, but it was just kind of seeing, um, you know, with my friend, just that, the recognizing of something that can be true, a, a moment of having the blues, being alone, and, you know, the work kind of, kind of says, you know, at the end of it, it's like, let this word picture remind you, it can always be worse. You know, it's just seeking to have a kind of context of where we are and hopefully to, to bring a smile to our faces. When we... And you've already got the next one planned, I understand. Um, well, Alexandra and I and, and our friend, we, we talk about maybe doing a work called The Haikus of Hope and, you know, generally playing with the haiku form and doing things with, you know, maybe like, I want to die. I really want to die. You know, I want to kill myself. And hopefully through this kind of smorgasbord of kind of self-extinction, we can laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds hilarious. Why, why, why go for this little, this, this very small compact form? Why not, you know, the great American novel? Well, maybe it is a great American novel. Just I don't uh, know. You know, I think it's it's just really it was is, this work was born out of a friendship. The drawings are fantastic. Black ink on water uh, with water and paper. Um, the artist describes him as being in the tradition of Sumi art, and so there's something kind of uh, playful about them. You know, and and the the, the publisher uh, Steidel went to great pains in terms of of realizing them so that they. You do feel like when you when you hold the work that you're you're holding on to an original. These don't feel printed per se. They feel like they're they've been executed. That they're right there, in your hand. And only four thousand are going to be printed. Is 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 that where it's going to stop? Or if if those do know. sell out, would would you want it to become more available? Or, or is it absolutely? In, in, you would. It's not something that you want to keep as just a a small print run and a you know, no, exclusive I mean, little thing. I'd like people to at least have the opportunity to, to enjoy it. Um, but that's up to Steidel. I don't really have any control over that. I can just beg. <laughs> Please, Gerhardt. <laughs> well, let's, like let's hope Gerhardt's listening. Oh, you wouldn't rather be at Glastonbury this weekend again? You were there, what, you played there more, more than a Oh, yes, ago. yes, at a memorable time way back in, the, I think, I don't know, it's the 90s, early I think 2000s. it was in nothing, yeah, I think it was 99. Yeah, 99. Yeah, that was Any a chance good day. of uh, getting back on stage, or, or was or was this your direction for the time being when you're not uh, doing the movies? You know, this has been a it's been an extraordinary circumstance and really fun to to collaborate with friends and to I mean, the, the work makes me laugh. I think it's funny and great. Who says he's sad? Keanu Keanu Reeves uh, telling me about his new book Ode to happiness and those haikus sound like real rib ticklers don't they that brings us to an end of this program